Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world today. My name is Dan Ray, and this is Tip Tuesday. We are going to be covering some of the capabilities you have in Windows 10 running on a Surface device related to multiple monitors. So here we are on my Windows 10 device, and I have multiple monitors. So if I right click on the desktop and I choose Display Settings, in display settings, the four monitors that I have hooked up, one being my Surface laptop and the other three being displays, are shown by default in a order. And one thing that you can do is actually move these based on where the physical monitors are within your environment. Let's take a look at where these monitors are in relation to each other. In this picture, you can see that the Surface Laptop 15 inch is in the lower right. And above that, I have a 27 inch monitor, an iMac to the left of that at the top, and I have a USB Display Link Lenovo display to the bottom left of the four screens. So they're not in order one after another, they're actually in a square, if you will. And if I choose to, in the Display Settings dialog box, when I click on Identify, I can see the four monitors and where they are in relation to each other. This is helpful for the next step where I may want to drag and reorient the monitors in relation to each other. So here we go. As I identify, three is actually the monitor above monitor one and two is the monitor above monitor four. One is the laptop itself. When I apply this, now the four monitors have shared edges, so I can actually go off the screen from the bottom to the Surface Laptop. I can go off to the right to either the top monitor number two or the bottom number monitor number four, and the shared edges are shown. Finally, the other thing I can do is with four monitors and many items on my desktop, I can actually right click on the desktop, go to view and uncheck show desktop icons. Watch what happens to all my icons on this monitor. They're still there on the desktop itself, which can be viewed by going into the desktop. So I can see all of my files there, but they are not available on the desktop unless I right click view and show desktop icons again. I can also use the Windows key and use the print screen button to take a screenshot. If your monitors are next to each other and there's more than two, using the Windows key print screen creates a very wide picture of what's on all three, four, however many monitors you have configured. If we reorient the monitors, the two above the other two, you get more of a square when you take this Windows key print screen. And it's still of all four screens, but we'll see the difference here. Notice the difference? The monitors, because they are stacked, two above and two below. They have different screen resolutions, so you can see that in their relative size to each other. But I see the screenshot, Windows key print screen, much more accurately based on where the monitors are relative to each other. If their monitor screen resolution were closer or the same, they would be the same sizes as opposed to different sizes in the dialog boxes. So today we have covered how to take monitor placement and do that within the Windows operating system using a Surface Laptop 3, but this would work for different Surface laptops and tablets. We have looked at hiding the icons that you have on all of your desktops. And finally, we looked at using Windows key print screen to create print screen shots of everything that's on your screen. And there you have it. 
Thanks for joining me. I record these on Tuesdays and Thursdays and look forward to seeing you back here on my YouTube channel in the future.